And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now talking ETBU men's basketball with head men's basketball coach Brandon Curran after coming off a week where they split their games against Ozarks and UT Tyler, but we'll talk about more than just that. So, Coach Curran, uh, you've been kind of traveling on the road a lot lately, so just uh, just talk about what it is, how it feels at this point for your guys after being on the road for so many days. Um, well, it's it's nice to be home again for our game against Bellhaven, but... Um, and it's nice to go to class, <laughs> these guys. Uh, yesterday, actually, I told them on Friday we're not leaving to go to Louisiana College until 3.30, and they were all really excited that they got to go to class on Friday. And I said, that shows right there how much this team has been transformed, that you guys actually want to go to class. Um, and so, no, it's, it's been really good. And being on the road with these guys this year has just been an incredible experience, um, just how the Lord has worked and brought these guys together as a family, and what the Lord is doing in the men's team and the women's team just by the power of his spirit and through the word, um, I bet probably people haven't noticed this or thought about this, but what do you guys think? The odds are that you've got two coaches who at the beginning of the year asked the Lord to show us what does it look like to walk in the kingdom of God coaching college basketball, and what does it look like to have two college basketball programs that are trying to be college basketball programs and college basketball players in the kingdom of God and praying that the Lord would do that, that the Lord would transform the hearts and minds of their players. And on February the 5th, 2018, at this point in the season, both teams are 17 and four overall. Both teams are 11 and three in conference. Both teams were seven and one non-conference. And both teams right now control their destiny going the rest of the way. Um, I asked my team that yesterday, and they said, I'm pretty sure the answer to that would be zero. And uh, I'm just amazed. Like, I'm amazed by what God is doing. Um, I'm amazed by his grace. Um, just the teams that he's called here, the, this is his program. And uh, we're just trying to listen and obey. And it's been incredibly exciting just to watch what he's done, not only on the basketball floor, but even more importantly, just how he's grown the men and women in both the men's and the women's programs this year. It's been really incredible. Definitely, Coach. And uh, one of the things that uh, I kind of wanted to uh, really ask you about is just how you guys are just able to uh, just continue to be be consistent. You talked about uh, the, the spiritual aspect of it with your, your team uh, growing uh, as a unit. And with these final games coming up, I know one of the things you also talked about is um, just fighting kind of the anxiousness of uh, what's going to happen in each game. So, uh, how are you guys able to put that uh, kind of behind you and remain consistent for these final games? Uh, well, uh, these last few games, all we're focused on, and it's funny, again, I was just up in uh, Coach Rainbolt's office. The focus is the same for the men and the women. Um, we are going to uh, do our very, very best. We're going to um, defend. Our, our hope is to become the best defensive team in the ASC going in the tournament. So when we play Bellhaven on Thursday, when we play Louisiana College on Saturday, when we play Laterno on Monday, and then uh, UT Dallas the following weekend, uh, every single day, every single game, we're just going to focus as much as we can on becoming the best defensive team we possibly can become. Um, I really feel like the Lord has gifted these guys with a ton of talent and ability. Um, they can really, really score the basketball, and, uh, and we just feel led that um, our calling right now is to really, really focus on the defensive end, and so that's what we're going to do. Now, of course, uh, looking back at the, this past week's games, obviously, but I did notice that there was a common theme among both of those games, and that involved one of your players, uh, with Robbie Dewey particularly. And I don't know if Robbie Dewey has an obsession with his jersey number 23, because if you look back at the two games that he scored, 23 points, 23 points, that's 46, but you divide by two, that's 23 points, and that's like his career high. He's matched that four times. I mean, I know he has Robbie to be like as much of a scorer as he can, but I didn't think he would limit himself to 23 points and all that. Well, it's, it's been incredible, and I told him after the game against um, UT Tyler, uh, just his resiliency is, is incredible because you think about it, the first time we played UT Tyler, he, he struggled, and against Ozarks, he struggled when we played him at home. And then I just thought he showed incredible resiliency um, to uh, go on the road and to respond the way he did at 23 points and 11 rebounds against Ozarks at their place, and he had 23 points, and it was uh, pretty incredible yesterday. We were doing listening prayer, 
uh, with our whole team. And the Lord spoke over Robbie Hart. He's given him a heart, and uh, he's put his spirit within him. And uh, I thought that was a perfect descriptor of truth for Robbie. Like, he's got an incredibly huge heart. And uh, I'm thankful to the Lord for him, and I'm thankful the Lord called him here, and I'm thankful for what the Lord is doing in him right now. Definitely, Coach. And and just really uh, going back to uh, this past weekend, um, you guys went up to, to UT Tyler. That was going to be projected to be the really big game for you guys. Um, just kind of talk to me about what your emotions were. I didn't get a chance to talk to you after the game. Uh, you guys kind of struggled a little bit. Uh, I think for the first time this season, I think this, is, this may have been this, the first time where you guys didn't make the shots that you normally make, but yet you still put up 83 points on the board. You only lost by seven. So – two or three of those threes go in and you guys have the game, but just talk about what your emotions were and what your message to the team, because I, I looked over to the bench and it seemed like you guys were still, you know, excited and you guys were still uh, cohesive as a unit. So, and I thought that was very impressive. So just talk to me about what, what your emotions were. Uh, well, what I told the guys in the locker room after the game, uh, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. The Lord grants victory and the Lord allows defeat. And, um, I told the guys, you gave a great effort. You stayed together. You loved each other. You played for each other. You sacrificed for each other. You played with hearts of gratitude for the gifts the Lord have given you. Um, UT Tyler played well. We did not play well defensively. I felt like we lacked some focus defensively, but it wasn't a lack of effort. Um, And it's things that we can improve and get better on. But um, the Lord has been doing incredible things with this team, and I believe that the Lord has us exactly uh, where he wants us to be. And um, whether we win or lose, we're not focused on the results. Uh, we're thankful that the Lord is, has continued to bless us and has been gracious to us. And, um, yeah, we're just going to keep talking to him and asking him what he has for us and what he wants us to do. All right, Coach, uh, just one final real quick question here. So this week, of course, you have a home and away. Uh, obviously, this was supposed to be a home week, but because of a snow day earlier, it got you kind of have a second home and away. So... Uh, you're taking on the St. Bellhaven, Louisiana College, just and obviously being in the thick of a conference tournament race where you're you're well in position to be, reach the conference tournament, but you're still trying to at least try to get a position at the top seed. What is it that your team needs to do in order to kind of remain focused, especially taking on teams that aren't not necessarily competing for the conference tournament at this point? Well, again, it's we're going to play with a great effort. We're going to play together. We're going to love each other. Uh, We're going to sacrifice for each other. We're going to play with hearts of gratitude to the Lord for the gifts that he's given us. Um, We're going to continue to try to walk as a college basketball program in the kingdom of God. And uh, I told the guys yesterday, I think the Lord made it really clear. Focus defensively over the next four games on getting better. Just defend, defend, defend. It doesn't matter who your opponent is. You just work on getting better defensively and make that your mindset going into the conference tournament. And he's going to take care of the rest. All right, Coach Curran, thanks once again uh, for joining us here on this men's basketball portion. Now we will talk next with head women's basketball coach Rusty Rainbow in just a moment.